are we even gonna freaking do? There's only the one thing we can do. What's that? Alright y'all, welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, he's still Alec, and today we are doing a little review of Adventure Stills Peralta Bourbon. So this is a AZ local um, right here in bourbon. Temp Tempe? Yeah, Tempe, 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 Tempe Arizona. Um, this particular bottle is batch 32, bottle 181. So if batch numbers matter to anyone out there, that's what we're drinking. Alec, I know you know this because I don't know this and you brought this up. What is the Peralta Trail? Oh, Peralta well, Trail. This. That's probably the one of the top three trails that are in the Superstition Mountain Range. It is a wonderful trail. It's about six miles uh, in and out, but you get a great view of Weaver's Needle at the end. And um, it's just, you know, it really shows Arizona in a great way. I think it's a, a fitting name for the bottle. What's, All right. the, what's the proof on this boy? Oh yeah. yeah. 90? Yeah. So 45% um, and this bottle is around 45 bucks here locally. Um, maybe 50. So that's what we're going to review on. Shall we get into this? Nose. Nose. <laughs> Onto the nose guys. Nutty espresso. Yeah. Yeah, like a hazelnut coffee. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of like milk chocolate. Yeah, definitely chocolate. Um, espresso. Espresso, nuts. Some creamy <sighs> vanillas, like marshmallowy. Mm -hmm. Got the oak in there. Good old fashioned oak. Maybe a little bit of banana. Like a um like a black banana. One that you've neglected for so long that like it's only purpose now is to like put in like- A blender. A, either a blender or like a banana. Nut bread. Uh, yeah, banana. Yeah. Like some, some sort of baked good or like smoothie. Yeah. You're not gonna eat it straight, but like you know how like ripe and pungent that smell is where it's like kind of like three days past what it should have been. Yeah, it Where lingers. it was like, yeah, it lingers yeah. a little. Like yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of that darkish banana smell. Can't go yeah, on with that. Nutty, a little bit of like. I'm getting a lot fruit of banana. A lot of espresso though. A lot of espresso and yeah. chocolate. Yeah, mostly mostly espresso and uh, milk chocolate. Not dark chocolate, like a creamy milk. Yeah, creamy milk. Yeah. All right, I'm putting it in my mouth. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. So it went way way heavier on the espresso. I felt like, yeah, I felt like it started nuts, went chocolate, and then went espresso for the yeah. end. Dude, it's like a peanut butter, banana, chocolate, like a milk chocolate, peanut butter, banana, coffee smoothie. Like I've, I've made, yeah, I'm, well I've made, I've so I usually make like a peanut butter, chocolate, banana smoothie. Mm -hmm. um, I get that. So it's all it's all like creamy, like peanuts, creamy, like banana, yeah, yeah, yeah. milk chocolate. But like in the morning sometimes if I make too much coffee, I'll add the coffee oh, back to it. Later. Yeah. And that's what it's reminding me of. Although when I make that the coffee is not as dominant as right. it is here, but it kinda reminds me of that. Yeah, no, it's this is good though. It's it's kinda like a coffee milkshake. I like it. Oh yeah. Super espresso y milk chocolate. Yeah, like uh, what we'll you find on the palate delivers from the or, nose. Or on the nose yeah, delivers yeah, yeah. on the palate. Yeah, now I think that it is worth commenting on. Like, if you were to only get the first flavor, the first flavor you tasted, what would it be? Uh espresso. Dude, mine's nuts. Really? Nuts. But not like too nuts. Well, well it, is, it is craft, so I get a lot of nuttiness off of craft yeah. usually. No, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I like the fact that it starts off nutty, but then it transitions to those other flavors really well. It's a very smooth transition. Yeah, but it's it's not like an overbearing nutty. It's like a creamy it, like, nutty. Yeah, like right, I'm, right. I'm attributing it to like peanut butter. I freaking love peanut butter. Yes, yes, that is definitely what it is. It's not like, it's not like biting into an almond by any means. It's just like nutty. 
Yeah, the Maybe third it's... part is about the only thing I'm really complaining about on this is it's a little thin and watery. Like it, it kind of falls short for me. Like funny. it's it's medium. Given uh, if you guys have paid any attention to any of our previous videos, Steven unless you're little... new here, I like proof. So coming in at 45 percent, everything's kind of watery at 45 percent to me. Um, but I would like to see this with a little bit more proof. But other than that, like the flavor it's delivering, I think is wonderful. Oh yeah, for sure. I think, can we get grades? Grades available? Yeah, yeah, grades. Yeah. Yeah. Send them. For Peralta, good old hairy boy over here. Um, I think so there's a very, very solid B. I'm gonna say very solid B. I think it's got great flavor. I think if it was solely based on flavor, this would be getting up there for sure. Yeah. I do agree the finish is a little short, but also I think that the flavor does last for a good portion of the palate experience. Yeah. Uh, obviously, nose is great. $45, not terrible. Not terrible at no, all. Especially no. when you think about what else you could find out there for $45. Bucks. Um, but I say B just because it's also just um, a little bit more of a you need to be in the mood. But yes, yeah. I love chocolate, I love peanut butter, I love coffee, but I don't love it every time I want whiskey. Yeah, I love the flavors, um, given they're not your everyday kind of flavors. Like, this is super desserty. Oh, yeah. So, you have to be in the mood. So, I'm gonna agree. I say B. 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 Okay. Right. Well, thanks for sticking around this far. Please do us a favor like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about this video. Yeah, go and check out our Instagram. We've got lots of stuff on there, lots of bottles, lots of experiences. So come around and we'll see you next time, sucker. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.